critics have determined that that was just biblical folklore. But as time progresses, archaeology continually discovers more and more evidence that the Bible is right and the Bible is true. Stories including those of Sodom and Gomorrah. It was said these cities existed during a time of great immorality in the ancient world and were utterly destroyed by fire and brimstone. They have discovered uh, pockets of uh, land that has been seriously charred. They don't know exactly what happened with that, but in the Bible it says it rained down fire and brimstone upon that place and burned the place up. And there are areas that they have discovered charred ruins and uh, with, with the smell of sulfur, burnt sulfur. In fact, archaeologists have discovered human remains for over one and a half million people in the area in which Sodom and Gomorrah was believed to be located. Surprisingly, the geological contents of the area confirms the biblical story of its demise. Archaeologists have discovered depths of 4 to 20 inches of sulfur and ash mixed within the surface soil and within deeper layers of earth that surround the sites. As scholars begin to consider the ramifications of these discoveries, the question remains, how could this event have happened? Parallel to these cities is a fault line where two large plates of earth are continually exerting great pressure. Combined with recently discovered underground sulfur pockets in the region, researchers are considering the possibility of how combining tectonic activity along with highly ignitable natural deposits could have indeed sparked the unprecedented explosion that brought an end to millions of people. First of all, if you look at the evidences for the written record as being uh, from a broad scale, stand back with a big wide angle lens. When something is described in the biblical written record, you can sink a shovel into the ground somewhere and dig it up. You'll find where it was because the written record is accurate. It's ge geographically accurate. Uh, it's even geologically accurate. Sometimes things will be explained about rocks or rock formations. Not in any scientific detail, but enough for you to know that it happened on the east side of the Jordan rather than the west side. The rocks on the east side of the Jordan, for instance, are black. They're white on, a, on, on the west side of the Jordan. Uh, certain details as far as where certain things took place, suddenly an archaeologist digs something up.